I was in law enforcement for 20 years where I served as a detective. I was also a hostage negotiator and I left law enforcement as the commander of the hostage negotiations unit. It was a natural reach from law enforcement to come into security and uh, although a little daunting to begin with because I wasn't familiar with the corporate world, it was an easy transition for me. My name is Edward Ankers. I'm the VP of Corporate Security with NTT. I've been with the company for 10 years now. Some of the things I do is I oversee our physical security team. Um, some of my other responsibilities are shipping and receiving fall within the, uh, the department. And a lot of what I do is product research, always looking for new technology, researching different ways we can make operations more efficient and more secure, and obviously friendly with our clients. It's absolutely imperative that we don't only secure our facilities as individual companies, but we work with partnerships across most of our competitors and federal, local, state um, law enforcement so that we can absolutely secure the data centers from any outside threats. Within the first year that I was here, I reached out to DHS, formed a relationship with them and educated them as to the criticality of the data centers and what we do on a daily basis and how it impacts everybody's everyday life. Once they understood that, then we started with the uh, RRAP program, which provided some funding for the protection of the data centers, but most importantly, it classified data centers as critical infrastructure. So just like dams and bridges and nuclear power plants, data centers are now considered critical infrastructure. One of the topics we brought up is the political unrest that's going on throughout the nation and how that affects us as the data center providers. Having those relationships ahead of time, it allowed us to get in front of a lot of that chatter and prevented any bad actors from arriving at sites. You know, we did have some threats, just like most of the data centers did, but again, working with local law enforcement, they were on site quickly, they deployed well, they worked well with our in-house team, they had confidence in what it is we do, and we, we just worked really, really well together. It had no incidents. I also worked uh, with the surveillance unit when I was in law enforcement, researching products and putting products into play in different cases that I managed. So coming to uh, NTT, it was natural for me to carry on with that and research uh, our biometrics, uh, access control systems, cameras, gates, fencing, anything related to the security of the data center. I've researched it and we're constantly looking for new technology as a team. It's not just me, it's the entire team. You know, they constantly tell me what works well, what doesn't work, and then we make improvements together. You know, one of the newest technologies we're looking at is ground-based radar, which interacts well with the camera system, your access control system, all of it works together, reducing cost, but adding security, and that's what I'm always after. Our security team has a vested interest in the success of the company, whereas when you're outsourced, you know, you're working for another company and they're not as vested as our in-house team. Built an in-house team that now uh, involves 75 members across the entire country. We constantly get uh, accolades from our clients because of that relationship that we've built. And anytime that I attend a sales tour with potential clients, I explain to them that relationship because it really is a positive relationship that you wouldn't get with an outsourced security team. All of our security team members have either extensive background in security, law enforcement experience, and a lot of them are transitioning from the military into corporate America. So they want the building to present well, they want the services to be top notch, and they want our clients to be happy when they come here.